Hello everyone and welcome to Monthly Favorites, Monthly Flops. So this is part two of the series for the Monthly Favorites. We're looking at both April and May. We're kind of combining the two and um, we're, we're back in part two when we're talking about the not so nice things and we're looking at all the things that didn't work out, all the things that were just kind of a subpar. It didn't really perform the way that I was looking for it. And if you wanted to see all the things and potentially save your money, then this video is going to be for you. And if we've never met, my name is Meshi. I am the person behind the line plans. We talk a couple of times a week on this channel and we're all about stationery. We're all about fountain pens, fountain pen inks, journaling supplies, you know, all the things planner and stationery related. And if you love all of those things, but you wanted to find a way to kind of utilize the things that you have without going into overconsumption and really actually enjoy them and find the best possible way of utilizing what you have, then you have come to the right place. And I'm so glad that you are here because our community is growing and I think that we're becoming a lot more intentional with how we wanted to use the things that we do have and just figure out new ways of repurposing certain things that we do end up investing that doesn't really work out so in this video this is sort of like a part two series of what we started yesterday in yesterday's video so if you wanted to kind of see what didn't work with full disclaimers stay tuned and let's just get right into it there's only a few that i wanted to mention one is more like a complaint a little bit but more than anything else it goes back to I, and I know, I know I just raved about this. I, I understand. You can yell at me in the comments if you want. Probably don't. Uh, where did I just put this? I just put it away. <clears throat> so my only like little complaint would be sometimes, well, one with the washi tape uh, samples that we get, they're great. However, sometimes I, I would love to actually know where I can buy like the full roll if i wanted to buy the full roll from from modern journaler so like if i'm super interested in um to buy like the here they are so if i wanted to buy let's say this washi tape in particular where can i buy it so i mean if somebody knows if you guys are also subscribed to modern journaler um please let me know if she sells the the actual washi tapes or not i don't think she does but if she does please let me know so that would be my my small little complaints my other complaint not really complaint but it's just a uh, more like a, i noticed so she sends out like these little sticker sheets and i know that like she prints them herself or like this one would be a good example of that as well where you have like it almost looks like a stamp right which is great, like it looks super cute, except sometimes the paper comes off with the sticker. So sometimes the quality is, and it could be based on how, see like this is a perfect example. Like if you're trying to like peel this off, the actual paper backing is coming as well, which means that there isn't enough separation that happens from the sticker to the, like the adhesive and the sticker. And so some of them, as much as I'm happy to have it, but it's also, it becomes a little bit more challenging for me to use. And it's not to say that all of them are like this or like every kit is like this because this quality um, sticker sheet is totally different. Here, it comes up no problem. But even here, it's also kind of starting to come up on the corner. Again, it's more just an observation, not necessarily something that would deter you away from, from getting the sub box because i do think that you actually get like a great value for your money but it's just it's just keep in mind that you know some of these stickers are not the they're not the greatest of the greatest and like it's fine but just keep that in mind the next thing that was kind of a flop for me actually is within the inking world and it's more just again To me, that was just more like a, a developmental thing when, when somebody is like developing a new product and they're definitely doing like a collaboration of an ink and a pen. Although this seems like it was actually done th all through Sailor, so I'm not understanding what went wrong here. But this combo, so the Mizutama Sailor collaboration pen and the ink. When I put this ink in this pen, 
And I don't know if it's just because they made this a, like a fine nib pe pen. I believe this is fine nib or medium fine. Medium fine, so this is not even fine. It's medium fine nib pen. But this pen does really, really well with like the Sare Gokoru or the Yoi or like any of those like really darker, richer colors. This is more like a gray, but it looks like a lighter shade of gray. This does really great in things like the Pilot Prera. It does really great in, in Ferris Wheel. It also does great in Kawakos. But as soon as I put this that was designed for this specific pen, it barely shows up. It's like the most frustrating thing. And I've tried using this in my Hobonichi Weeks. I tried using this in The Cousin just to kind of journal. I tried pushing the ink through a little bit more and it's still, it's so fine that it's... So the two together are just not, in my opinion, they're just not a great combination, which is ironic because they sell them together. So it, again, it's more of an observation and I only noticed it this past month when I actually inked up my pen with it. So just kind of keep that in mind that if you have this collab, use the pen individually, use the ink individually, and probably ink, use this ink in other pens besides this one because you might not actually enjoy it. So that's it. That's That was, that was like my little rant here, but now, what is kind of not like working? What is sort of not like something that I, and it's not, I'm calling it a flop because I haven't either reached for it, it hasn't fulfilled its actual purpose that it was intended for, or it's just, it's, I'm having a hard time making it work. So that's kind of what I mean by a flop. It doesn't make the product itself bad. And honestly, if you have some of these things that I'm about to highlight, whether it's a planner or, um, or a product, like I don't know how else to name it, but uh, it could be like a decor or functional stickers. If I mention them and you happen to have them, please don't take it that I'm bashing the product itself. I'm just saying that it does, it did not work for me. I didn't reach for them. It was just, it wasn't top of mind. So that's kind of what I mean by it. I shouldn't have to say this, but you know, I already know you guys are going to be semi upset. I hope you're not that. Okay, let's talk about like functional stickers and um, and I think, okay, I didn't get a chance to grab it, but um, it will go hand in hand with the next item. But like all of these, I have so many of these stickers and they look lovely, right? Like they look like, oh my gosh, like you're gonna be like a functional Betty here. Like, you know, <laughs> you're gonna be, <laughs> I don't know, you're probably gonna do like your SWOT analysis. Are you? I don't know. I don't do SWOT analysis on a regular basis. We talked extensively about this in previous videos, but these time blocking stickers, I really love these actually, these like half circles, the semicircles. Um, this is in Manuka. Um, a lot of these are from cloth and paper, which I, I appreciate the fact that it takes up so little space. So like, I really love that. So when I want to kind of just do, 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 go through it, I will be able to probably find some functional stickers here. I haven't been reaching for them. It just, and honestly, it has a lot to do with the fact that I don't think that I have been reaching also for my, um, my functional planner, which is so odd for me because I actually really like planning in that. I find that like, I become really, I don't want to say functional, but I just become really efficient in like filling it out. There, there isn't really a lot of like fuss about like decor. I don't use washi tapes. I don't use any of that. It's just, it's like a lot of times it's just pen and paper, but like it kind of same goes for like, I have like a bunch of these flag things. These, it's just like, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to just, you know, collect a bunch of these. Like I get really excited when I find a use for them because it's like, yes, we conquered the overconsumption, you know, monster. Um, same thing with these. Like I just, I honestly, I just don't reach for them. I have them here. I like these. And sometimes I do want to highlight the something in my book, but like, you know, even in a personal size uh, planner, actually, why don't I just go grab it? Hang on. All right. So when I'm speaking about this planner, um, move things around so let's say I wanted to like highlight I don't know sometimes I want to highlight something that's happening like on on the Tuesday and then I was just kind of put it here like whoa something's happening on a Tuesday but then I find that like some like if I write on this I don't know if you can see I'll just zoom in 
If I were to highlight something here and there's already writing underneath it, I get annoyed that it's like, okay, well there's writing here and then there's writing underneath it and, and like the two kind of meshes together and then it becomes annoying. Even this, even this sticky note with the meal plan, that becomes annoying to me. And I know some of you will be like, well, why do you have like one week in a, in a page? Well, because it seemed like a great idea at the time. That's why I thought like, look how, look how functional it's not. Honestly, I'm, I'm finding the more we kind of talk about this, the more I'm kind of finding that it's, um, it's, this feels so crammed because like the page is small. Like look how much more space we have left. Like look how much space is left until the edge. Like I feel like this could easily become a little bit bigger. And by the way, these inserts are personal size inserts into a personal size ring, six ring planner. And I have no idea why they feel so tiny. Maybe that's just like the normal size, but I don't know. Maybe I need to like resize this or get like a notebook in here and you know, I have to experiment with this for me to become like happier because I love, I don't want to take the ring out and I really love this cover. So I kind of do struggle a lot with this, with this planner and with this setup because I didn't set it up optimally for me to really reach for it. I think that when I had the A5 planner and I had like a bunch of inserts from uh, Rosie Paper Tree that was kind of working a little bit better but it, it was because the week was laid out on two pages and i had enough space for me to like write like the meal plan like similarly how like i would actually set up my hobonichi weeks so anyway so i do struggle with this which means that i'm going to struggle with like a lot of these little accessories because every time that i try to use one of these it like overtakes the entire spread which makes like the rest of the little sections kind of redundant because i can't really write there unless of course i'm like eh, let me remove this and let's see what's underneath it like it just it just feels like it's just extra work you know what i mean like i like it when there's functional space but then like it doesn't feel like everything is cramped together you know what i mean like I, it's sort of like i think ikea that would be like <laughs> that would be like a really ideal way for me to like run my planner where it's small and compact, but every little section has its little home. And then if I have like all of these cute little accessories, I can actually use them. So yeah, that's where I'm at. That's rant over. But basically like that's, I would call this entire planner system kind of a flop at the present moment because I'm like dying to use it. Like I have like nothing under finance. I just stopped printing out the answers for finance and I stopped like, filling these sections out because it just it just feels so redundant so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this planner i might revive it going into july or i might just kind of retire it and then i don't know i have to sit on it and think about it if you guys have recommendations please pop them in the comments and let me know because i do love certain elements about this planner that entire setup and I don't necessarily want to let it go, but honestly, I haven't really been using it. Like if I go back to like May, like I haven't, I filled out like one week in May and I don't know how much I filled out in April, not much. Again, one week filled out in April, one week filled out in May and one week filled out in June. So we're not exactly, you know, having the best track record thus far. Granted, June just started, so, you know, but I mean, like the amount of blank spaces I have here is just not cool. So. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this little setup yet, but this kind of goes hand in hand with like a lot of the functional stickers that I just haven't really been reaching for it because I just, eh, I just don't feel so compelled to. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, and of course, like I went to my desk like four times and I didn't grab it. So hang on. Now, granted, this is the 2023 common planner and I'm like, well, like, let's just, you know, like look how much, look how much is left in, in the note section. So obviously I didn't go crazy with the note section from last year. It's like, I mean, we're getting there. It's getting a little chunky, but I thought that it would be a really nice way for me to like use this notebook up if I use it as like a swatch book. And honestly, as much as I, I like it, I absolutely hate it. I just like the moment I started swatching in here, it's just, it just kind of became like a salad. Like I just don't like it. I don't find that there is much structure to it. I would love to have just like a dedicated book, which now I do. So, I mean, I, I solved my own problem, but I mean, I love that like I can swatch 
the the inks really clearly and they look beautiful but i really don't like what it does to the note to this book particularly so you know yes i will probably use up the remainder of the notes for something completely different that has nothing to do with ink but i mean like i haven't been reaching for this for me to just swatch inks primarily because if you haven't seen like any of my previous videos it was because i've been creating like little profiles and th things like that uh, so I, I kind of like that I can create little profiles and I didn't realize that like how much more detail I really wanted to add about um, the fountain pen inks, but I really love like kind of cr like creating groups together and like making notes of which um, which pen it would be ideal for. So anyway, so like there's a, like a lot that a lot more goes into it than just me swatching one color because eventually some of the colors look similar so you know i want to kind of create a, a bit more structure around my fountain pen inks even if they are only samples but it's you know it definitely leaves an impact in your life so i wanted to kind of create proper space for it so therefore common planner is out for that um things are going to be changing moving into the next few weeks and i will give you guys updated on how i'm kind of planning on making some changes with um, with some some of my planners but primarily I'm planning on making some adjustments based on their function I just find that like the function that I've given these planners are not really working the way I thought the other one that I'm kind of noticing is uh, the Hobonichi weeks even though the Hobonichi weeks is working really well for me this year um, I'm using the monthly to kind of plan out some of the videos I really love that the sticky note works here so there's a lot that's really working well for me and like I find that this weekly layout works, but it doesn't work. I feel like it's creating a lot of limitation, even though I really love everything about it. So I know I know it sounds contradictory, and I'm and I'm sorry that you know I'm not an easy puzzle to solve. But like I love the amount of decor that I add, but I also don't like that I don't leave myself enough space for like a lot of subsections of more functional planning. Hence why I really enjoyed my ring planner. See how it just kind of creates a cycle. <laughs> so, I know I am my own source of problem here, but that's okay. So I do enjoy this. I do wish that um, this was like a, a smidge bigger, maybe. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to try something different moving into June and July. I think I will still continue to use this primarily like maybe for work or for social media. I definitely like keeping track of like um more of like my wellness journey and maybe like that's maybe that's what it is that it's just i need to change its function because if i add all of the appointments here i find that i've run out of space so i just find that like maybe this needs to become more like a wellness uh planner and um more for like mental health and this needs to be more on reflections i'm not sure i just want to kind of figure out a different purpose of using this that kind of fulfills the needs that I have I don't know I need to kind of think about how I want to really use this moving forward because I love a lot about this I love that I have like um, a quick glance of like the entire week but I do struggle sometimes with um, with the space arrangement because I usually take this one quarter of a page as much as I enjoy this element that I add every week. And I love that I, I can add like really cute, you know, decor pieces in there. So it does provide me with a lot of fulfillment, but I just find that right now, functionality wise, it's just not giving me everything that I truly need. So I think that we're gonna be making some adjustments to this as well. And if you have enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.